All right, guys, coming to you with a special episode. We're calling this the Mastermind Popcorn episode. We're here in Charlotte recording live with our Elevate 360 Mastermind members, and we actually turned the mic back to me. We gave our Mastermind members a chance to ask me some of their burning questions that they wanted to hear, and nothing was off limits. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Need some effective tactical advice that actually helps you get results and makes a real difference in your life and business? You've come to the right place. If you're finding yourself here today, it means you're getting ready to gain serious traction in your business, rapidly multiply your income and impact, and you're ready to make it happen while living all out. Guys, I'm Melissa Hanal, your trustworthy corporate dropout turned six-figure business burnout turned happy and healthy CEO of a multi-million dollar online business. And you're listening to the Burnout to All Out podcast. On this show, we're serving up innovative growth strategies, simple implementation methods to put them into practice, and action-stimulating inspiration tailored specifically for the modern entrepreneur. Let's dive in. So I did LinkedIn Academy in like, I think January of 2023. Uh I saw some of those first videos where you're on screen with like six people. Uh How did you grow from there to where you are here in such a short period of time? And that was when? 2023? 2023 when I saw the videos, yeah. And there were six people on the line? They were like your first videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great question. I think the number one thing is consistency. I think that what lacks in the online business industry is consistency and persistence in that personal brand, that brand building. What I see is a lot of folks will pivot before they're truly getting results. They pivot what their offer is. They pivot what they're calling it. They're judging their offer before they've had enough time to really get their footing with the brand. So that's number one, is I think those of you who are listening to the podcast, who've been listening for a while know, and you know, I've been selling the same shit (laughs) for five years. It's the same shit. Like we update the videos, but the only reason we've even changed the name of the program was because LinkedIn didn't like that we had the word LinkedIn in our program. So we got a cease and desist from them. So we changed it to lead gen. That's the only thing we've changed. And so I do think there is a sense of tenacity and persistence that can be lacking in the industry. And then I think the second thing is, and I don't know if you can speak to this from your own experience in the program, but it's also having a great offer that creates transformation so that as clients are going through it, they're going to tell everybody about it. And so if you've got a great offer that's creating transformation and you're not just seeking to obtain clients, I think that's another thing I see in the industry a lot is we're so focused on obtaining new clients that there isn't the focus of the internal customer journey for transformation. We're just chasing the sales. And we forget that the transformation internally is probably one of the biggest billboards for our programs is the the current customer and the customer transformation to tell others. Mm -hmm. And so where we've gone from being a small group coaching program to hundreds is by continually fine tuning. You guys were just listening to us a minute ago. As we grow, we have to optimize how we're interacting with our clients, what the customer journey looks like. And so it's making sure that your internal customer is getting the desired transformation and you're wowing them because that's going to pay itself twofold. So persistence and quit changing your shit all the time. And customer journey is really, really important. Well, and I would say one of the things I was always so amazed with was the customer journey and the the customer service. Like I literally hit send and I'm getting the answer in my inbox. Like Mm -hmm. it was, and it was on the weekend. It was amazing and stuff. So just to follow up to that question then, Mm -hmm. when you have then offered new offerings, have you seen your main one decrease or has that continued to grow as you've offered some of these other new programs? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have only ever truly offered forward-facing one flagship 
which is the Lead Gen Academy. I was trained classically by my mentor that you should hit at least a million in revenue recurring with one offer before you go cold market to an additional offer because you'll confuse your audience. And so what I will tell you, I'll tell you where we failed miserably, and this has been a lesson, is I'm on this journey to be known beyond Legion. I truly believe in the ultimate mentorship of this 360 degree approach to business that bodies build businesses. And we're here today recording because of the mastermind who are in our Elevate 360. And I'll talk about that in a minute as far as like other offerings. So we took a stab this year at, hey, let's go to market, not with the Legion Academy, but for the first time in five plus years, I mean, we're doing multiple millions in revenue per year, so it's time. Let's go to the public with this new thing. And we failed miserably. We put together our ads, marketed cold. And what I want you to think about is this goes back to niche. We were talking about earlier, like being niche as fuck. (laughs) Being niche as fuck, I now realize how important that is. So here's what happened. We went to market with a similar masterclass style that we do at the Lead Gen Academy, except it was for Build, Grow, Scale, which is our internal, we have an Ascension model. So let me back up. We have our flagship is the Lead Gen Academy. All of our other sales are internal Ascension. Their internal ascension, once the clients are in the container, they can then ascend into our middle ticket offer and then into our higher ticket mastermind. This was our first attempt at a brand shift to not being just the lead LinkedIn expert, because I'm not. You guys know, working with us, it's so much more than that. So we took an attempt at, let's go to market as a business strategist, because we know that we know our shit. And we know that our clients are getting great results in the internal ascension model. It's great. It's phenomenal. It's a no-brainer. So we go to market with it, pour a ton of money into ads to it, pay top dollar for a copywriter. I mean, we spent so much money on this initiative. And the conversion rate for cold was like maybe 0.2% or less. If you feel like you're screaming into the void when you post content on Facebook or Instagram, struggling to find a sustainable and scalable lead generation process that sticks, and you just want someone who's been there and done that to reveal their secrets, then it's critical that you register to save your spot ASAP. During this live masterclass, you'll get to steal the exact strategy I used to scale my income from $0 to 1 million in just 19 months without spending a fortune on ads or suffering from burnout. Simply check out the show notes of the podcast episode for the link to register for your free spot in the LinkedIn lead gen masterclass. And don't worry. Even if you miss a couple of days or you can't make it to all the training sessions, we'll deliver the replays directly into your inbox daily so you can watch them on your own time. All you have to do is make sure you sign up for the masterclass before registration ends. And everyone who bought was an organic internal customer. And so the reason I'm sharing this with you is even being a multi-million dollar brand, even the people who bought, who came into our masterclass when we opened up for Q&A, were asking questions about LinkedIn because we had done such a good job at being niche as fuck, being a LinkedIn lead gen strategist. What I learned from that also is being niche as fuck separates you from everyone else. So when we went to market, think about the competition. When we went to market to be an online business coach, how many of those are there? How many LinkedIn strategists are there who came from corporate who are now running a multi-million dollar a year business? So it was a really expensive lesson to me that, you know what? The thing that's bringing in the large majority of our revenue is the Lead Gen Academy. And if we're actually really strategic, which you'll see in the coming months, we can create phenomenal infrastructure from the hundreds of clients who come in month over month into Lead Gen and actually have a stronger internal ascension model into build, grow, scale, where it's organic, we're not investing in ads, and they convert at a much more natural rate. That launch 
I did not see it impact our sales to our other programs. As a matter of fact, right after that launch, we had an incredible, I mean, we did like 700K in the following like six weeks in our Legion Academy launch after failing miserably, costing me money for the Build, Grow, Scale launch. But you don't, it's entrepreneurship. You don't know till you try. And then the third offer that's our high ticket mastermind, again, it's always been mostly an internal sale where we create enough knowledge and engagement and excitement and cast a vision for our internal customers that it's a place to ascend, that it typically sells itself out before we ever go public. Every year we have a plan to go public and it's sold out before we leave the live event. So and you're asking me, not a marketing expert. I don't have degrees in it. We've got other people that are good at that. But from my own experience, I have learned that being niche as fuck works. And I thought going to market being like, oh, but I want to evolve my brand. I want to be known as this modern entrepreneur that brings everything to the table. And it's like, well, then you're going to dilute your brand and be amongst a kajillion other people and be competing with them in the market. Or you can still be niche as fuck teaching people lead generation with LinkedIn, which is your jam and you know it works and you know your clients can get results and you know it can grow their business. That's still going to bring in hundreds of clients per quarter that are going to convert beautifully to the higher ticket programs and not confuse my market based like cold. Does that make sense? It does. So there's, there's that. Thanks guys so much for listening in on today's podcast episode. And I can't wait for you to see my upcoming guest in the next episode. You are going to love this keynote speaker. Hey, here's the deal. If you liked this, please subscribe and leave a review. And you want the latest online business growth strategies and exclusive LinkedIn pro tips sent straight to your phone? Text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. That is text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. Can't wait to see you guys. Come find me over on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you like to hang. I cannot wait to hear how you are enjoying and applying what you're learning. You guys reach out to me over on social because I love hearing what's resonating with you. When you reach out to me and you send me those personal DMs, they really do impact the content I continue to bring forward to you. So again, come find me, Melissa underscore Hinault over on Instagram, Melissa Hinault over on LinkedIn and Facebook. Can't wait to see you guys over there.